How y'all doing? Sarah Palin said the White House inviting hip-hop artists common to an event lacks class and decency. You know what lacks decency, Mrs. Palin? Leaving your elected office, abandoning your constituents for a reality TV career. Remember, young black America, Sarah Palin supported Dr. Laura calling her N-word rant, freedom of speech. Dr. Laura is the radio talk show host who launched into a racially charged tirade where she used the N-word more than once. Dr. Laura accused the African-American woman who called her show of having a chip on her shoulder for being upset at her white husband for calling her the N-word. Now back to Sarah Palin. Remember, young black America, Sarah Palin is just trying to get a paycheck. She'll say anything to attract the media. Her kids are a mess. Her family's quote-unquote dysfunctional. And she has enough nerve to say what's decent. It's blatant hypocrisy. She shows her knocked-up, unwed daughter on TV and then says it lacks class and decency to invite a rapper to an event. Every time she opens her big mouth, she shows us how unintelligent she is. Early one morning while making my rounds, I took a shot of cocaine and shot my woman down. Those lyrics are by Johnny Cash, who was personally honored by George W. Bush. But you don't hear Palin, Bill O'Reilly, or Fox News complaining about that. Fox News was just praising Common a few months ago and said he was a good role model for kids. Now they turn around and say he supports cop killing. Fox says whatever they feel at the time they need to communicate with their fan base, no matter how much it contradicts what they said previously. I can appreciate if someone has a dislike for rap, but anyone who has the slightest knowledge of Common's music will know there has never been anything gangster about it. Remember, young black America, Bush Sr. once invited Eazy to the White House as his guest. In case you didn't know, EZ had songs called F the Police and F the Police Part 2. Anyone remember when President Bush invited Kid Rock to perform at an inaugural party? Even though Kid Rock had a rap calling Bush's mother the B-word. Palin's comment about who Obama pals around with is hypocrisy. I'm more comfortable with Common than the hordes of lobbyists she catered to as governor of Alaska. Remember, young black America, all these Bin Laden sympathizers who say we shouldn't be ce celebrating his death have lost their minds. Bin Laden killed over 2,000 people he knew nothing about. Even worse, he killed innocent children who had nothing to do with grown-up politics. If it was up to me, I would have brought him back alive and put him in a soon-to-be-demolished building and flew a remote-control airplane through it to show him how it feels to be in a collapsing building. Al-Qaeda and their so-called new leader will never be able to defeat America. I'm more worried about these 2012 Republican candidates more than Al-Qaeda. Remember, young black America, if this country can slip up and let Bush, the worst president in American history, get elected twice, this country can slip up and let Sarah Phelan Palin and these howdy doody looking 2012 Republicans get elected. Coming soon, more controversial blogs from Presidium and more blogs exposing these hypocrite Republican candidates. Thank you.